Hi everyone, John McKeever from Data Migrators here. We're going to have a look today at Metal CI's Git integration. So a lot of people are very interested in integrating with Git and Metal CI's capabilities are compatible with data stage all the way back to version 8.x. So if you're on a legacy environment looking to upgrade, this is certainly of value to you. So I'm going to get straight into it. So for this data stage job I have open, I'm going to go to the tools menu, custom menu item and Metal CI check in asset. That brings up the Metal CI user interface and you can see that I've been provided with all of the context from which I called the interface. I know my project and the, the job that was selected. I could add um, other information server artifacts here, but we generally tend to prefer one commit per artifact. So we can provide very specific commit messages. You'll notice here I have a toggle that enables me to bring along my unit testing artifacts for this job as part of the commit. And if you haven't seen the unit testing video, I'd encourage you to go and have a look at that. Below there, we have an issues uh, box, which enables us to link this particular commit to one or more items in our work item management system. So in this demo, for example, uh, this system is connected to Atlassian Jira and I can connect this commit to a particular Jira story. So I'm going to do a live search against Jira, just using one of the words from the jobs, na jobs name and I can see there's my story. So I'm going to link this uh, commit to that story. And one of the things we mandate by default is that every commit is linked to at least one story. You don't want developers throwing stuff into your Git repository for no apparent reason. And you can add a reason for your commit there and you hit check in. That only takes a few seconds to commit your work to Git. And if we go off and have a look in our repository, we can find that commit. Now Metal CI works with any flavor of Git whether it's hosted on-premise or on the cloud. It could be GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, GitLab, or in this case, we're going to be using today Atlassian Bitbucket. So here is my repository with a data stage, file system, scheduler, and unit test set of directories, and we can explain more about those in another video. But I just want to start by seeing if my commit has occurred. And there's my commit. So now I want to go off and have a look at the code that has been committed. So I'll click on the filter here and I'll go and find my jobs, which is TRACC accounts debtors. And one thing you'll notice is that for Atlassian Bitbucket, we've provided a plugin that enables Bitbucket to actually render the data stage canvas in the Bitbucket interface. You'll also notice that what we check in to Git is an ISX file, not a DSX, not the JSON files that you get with IBM's Git integration, a single ISX. Numerous reasons for that. ISX is the only file format that provides all of the information we need to fully reconstitute that artifact in a target environment. And it's also the file format with the broadest level of compatibility across the information server suite. So ISXs are also used to export artifacts from IGC, Information Analyzer, and other Infosphere tools. Finally, we can see that if we go to the Metal CI wallboard, uh, which will be a feature of another video, uh, we can see that the continuous integration process has been invoked. So that's all from me. Thanks for your attention. Please do look at the other videos and get in touch if you'd like to find out more. Thanks.